Let's get started on this great water bottle holder. You will need 50 grams of cotton yarn, a four millimeter crochet hook, scissors, darning needle, and a stitch marker. I am using cotton yarn from Hobie. This is a beautiful cotton yarn and I will put the link in the description. I will also be using a four millimeter crochet hook for this project. So let's start with a magic ring. This is how I make my ring. There's many ways to make it, but this is a very simple way. Making a loop, insert your hook, drop the yarn, and just do a chain. It's that simple. So in this ring or circle, we will do six single crochet. We can then pull snug and we will join in the first single crochet. So inserting our hook into that first single crochet, pulling up the yarn, but from here we're going to complete a single crochet. So stop right there and make a single crochet. So this is going to have our rounds continue. Let's place a marker in this stitch. This will be our first stitch for the second round. We are going to then put two single crochet in each stitch. So after we've placed our marker, let's put another single crochet in that same stitch. So right in there. And then continue around putting two single crochet in each stitch. You will now have 12 single crochet. So let's remove the marker. Starting with this next round, we're going to put one single crochet in the first stitch. Let's replace our marker. And then two single crochet will go into the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that pattern. One single crochet and then two single crochet. Continue around until you reach the marker. You will now have 18 stitches. So let's remove the marker and we're going to do another increase round, starting in the first one with one single crochet and replacing the marker. We will then put a single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in the next. and we will repeat this all the way around. So let's do one single crochet, then one single crochet, and then two single crochet. We'll meet you at the end.
At the end of this round, you will have 24 stitches. Let's remove our marker and we'll do one more round. Another increase. So we're gonna do one single crochet and then replace the marker for the first stitch. And then we'll do another single crochet in the next. And then one single crochet in the next and then two single crochet in the next stitch. Now repeat this pattern all the way around and I'll see you back at the beginning. So this is now the base that we have created for the water bottle. You can make it bigger if you like, but with the sides it will stretch around. So we're gonna continue with this size um, for the smaller water bottle. So this is about two and a half inches or six centimeters. For our next round, we're just gonna do one single crochet all the way around. We can now remove our marker. Starting the sides, we're gonna do a chain two. This will count as a double crochet. We're then gonna do one more chain to start with a V stitch. So that's our double crochet and then a chain one. And now we're gonna put a double crochet in that same stitch. So this will be our first V-stitch. We will then skip two stitches and put a V-stitch in the next. So the V-stitch will consist of a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet back down into that same stitch. And then we, we will repeat this all the way around. So skipping two and V-stitch. V stitch is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue this around, you should have 10 V stitch. So I will meet you back around to the beginning. And now you should have 10. We are now going to slip stitch to join in the top of that second chain. So this will be the top of what we called our double crochet. So slip stitch into that. That closes the row and now we are going to slip stitch into the middle or into the center of the V stitch. So let's slip stitch right over to there. All of our stitches will be in the V stitch from the round below. So this is where we will start our next row. There are a couple ways to start the next row. We can do a chain three, that'll be a double crochet, and then a chain one, and then a double crochet down into the V-stitch. 
So this creates a V-stitch. So that's one way to do your next row. I'm going to show you another way. So this will be done with a starting double crochet. So with your yarn, you're just gonna pull up a loop about the length of your stitch. You will then hang on to that loop of your hook, so just hold on to it with your thumb. We will then use this, so we will yarn over that loop. Holding on with your thumb, we will then insert our hook, pull up the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, just like you're gonna finish a double crochet, and then yarn over again, letting go, yarn over and pull through two. This is a starting double crochet. From here, we would do a chain one and another double crochet down into the V-stitch from the round below. Either way is okay to start if you just wanna go with the chain three or with this really nice starting double crochet. We will now work a V-stitch into every V-stitch from the round below. So working in that chain one space, we're gonna do double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Let's continue this all the way around until we are back to the beginning. Again, you will always have 10 V-stitch in every row. Once you've gotten around back to the beginning, if you've done a starting double crochet, you will see here that there is almost um, like a V on the top of that stitch as well. So you're gonna go underneath or in the top of that starting double crochet. So just going underneath both. If you've done a chain three, just go into the top of that chain three. So inserting our, our hook into here and finishing the round with a slip stitch. So let's slip stitch. And then with each round, we will slip stitch over into the center of the V-stitch. So slip stitch over, and we can start our next round. I will again start with a starting double crochet. Then of course, a chain one and a double crochet. We can now repeat this pattern until we have 10 rows of the V-stitch. I will meet you after you have the 10 rows. Here you can see that we have the 10 rows. It does not reach the top because we will be adding more rows around the top and when we do our handle. You can see here how it fits, but just keep in mind when your water bottle is full, this will stretch, so only go to about three quarters of your bottle. Your last round we finished with a slip stitch. Stopping there, we will chain one. We will then put a single crochet in that first double crochet from the round below. And then we're gonna put a single crochet in the chain one space and a single crochet in the next double crochet. So let's single crochet all the way around. So in each stitch, so into the double crochet, into the chain space, and into the double crochet. So this will give you the 30 single crochet all the way around. We can then slip stitch to join. We will chain one, and we're gonna do another round of single crochet. So starting in that first stitch, so chain one, starting in that first stitch, and again, one single crochet in each stitch until you have another 30 single crochet.
Once you have made it all the way around, we will slip stitch to join. We're then going to chain about 120 or 30 to 35 inches, 76 to 89 centimeters. This will be the start of our handle. From here, we will attach it to the other side of our bottle holder. So we're going to take the halfway point, which is here. With this, it'll be 15 stitches over. So once you have found that, place a marker in there, and then we will attach our chain to that marker. So making sure that your chain is nice and straight, let's attach it to the opposite side. Now that your chain is straight, we can insert and just do a slip stitch to join it to the other side. So going into that halfway point and slip stitch. From here, we're going to go back into the handle. So we are going to go from here into the back loop of these chains. So you can see here the little bump on the back of the chain, which is the back loop. That is where we will insert our hook. So just grabbing your yarn and getting into that very first back loop. We will then single crochet in every back loop for the whole handle. Sometimes this takes a little bit more time, but it will make for a really nice sturdy handle. We will be putting two rows on one side of the chain and two rows on the other side of the chain. So it's really important to go through that back loop. I will now meet you on the other side of the handle. When you've come back around, making sure that your handle is nice and straight, we don't want to have any twists in it, we will then attach this back to the main part of our water bottle holder. So here's my last little single crochet into the chain and then going right down into the first stitch we're single crocheting into the main part of the bag. So from here let's single crochet all the way across to the other part of the handle again. We will now do a second row on top of that single crochet row. So this will be a second row on this side of the chain. So just continue into each stitch and then once you get to your handle, 
you're just going to go into every stitch and put a single crochet. So this is the second row of this side of our handle. You can see here, this is our chain, and then we did one row, and now our second row. We will go all the way around, and then when we come back around, we will do two rows on the other side of the handle. I will meet you back on the other side of this second row. So this is the bottom of the second row and we're going to continue around to the other part of the handle. You can see here on this side of the bag, we had our two rows of single crochet and then our two rows of going around the handle. We now want to do two rows on the other side of the chain. So let's stop right here. So here we have our four rows on one side and only two on the other. So we need to go to the other side. So to do this, we're just going to put our handle down and we're going to do a slip stitch over to the other side of the handle. I like to do this because I just don't like to cut my yarn and weave in all my ends. So just on the very inside of the bag, just find any stitch you can and slip stitch over. So I'm going to slip stitch over one and then I will slip stitch over another one. Wherever you can put your, your hook in there and we're going to finish this off nicely at the end. We can then single crochet on the other side of the handle. Pulling the handle up, I'm just going to adjust our hook here, and then we will start our single crochet. So here you can see now we are on the other side. We can now do single crochet around this side. So we're going to do two rows. So first we're going to go across the top of the bag. Once you have reached the handle, now we're going to be working into the back of the chain. So just going into the last stitch here, and now working into the back side of that chain. So here you have the stitches. You can see it's a nice V because we went into the back loop, and then putting one single crochet in each stitch. So here is the back of the chain. Just making sure you're getting underneath both of those stitches. And then single crochet all the way around. Let's just get my hook in there to start. It's a little bit tight. And there we go. It's just the corner part that's tight on mine. Single crochet. 
and now into each stitch. Again, you can see here, we've got the two rows on the one side and we're gonna put two rows on this side. I will meet you back at the other end of the handle. Continuing with the single crochet down this side of the handle, we will then single crochet to attach it to the top of the bag. So here's my last stitch and then single crochet. And now we've completed that one round on this side. So now we've got one more round to do. Let's complete one more round and we will stop here. So all the way around and I will meet you here. Once you've made it all the way around, our very last stitch, we're gonna put in here a single crochet, and then you can see our handle, and we're gonna cut our yarn, and we're gonna weave in our end. So with your darning needle, let's finish this. Let's start by doing an invisible close. Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull it up, come back around and we're gonna insert into that last stitch that we just made. So going from front to back, and you can see here, it finishes it off nicely. You can't even tell. We're gonna take this end though around to the back and we're gonna fix our little slip stitches that we did as we moved over to the other side of the handle. So now we can just weave in this end to secure. You can now see how great this handle looks. We can now weave in our beginning yarn and we're just about finished. So this is all I had left of my little 50 gram ball of yarn. So this yarn here was about 75 meters or 82 yards. And this is all I had left. So if you want a bigger water bottle holder, you're gonna have to have a little bit more yarn, but this seemed to have worked for my one. I hope you enjoyed making this. Just remember when you put your bottle in there, this will stretch. So it looks like it might not be big enough right now, but it's definitely gonna stretch. You can see here too, it actually fit another size of water bottle that was bigger. From the bottom, look how beautiful that stitch is. And again, it will stretch. Happy crocheting and I'll hope to see you again soon. Bye.